So today, our goal is to um, investigate first order differential equations in order to model and interpret slope fields. So there should be some words in this objective that you're familiar with. Do you see any, or can you call out any for me? Aaron? First order. First order. So can somebody, or how about you tell us, what does first order mean? First derivative. OK, good. So we're going to be looking at first order derivatives. Anything else familiar up there? Slope. slope. Great. And what is, how do we calculate slope in calculus? On the count of three. One, two, three. Great. Can we try it one more time? One, two, three. Great. So we're going to be looking at derivatives and looking at slope. And we talked about the fact that order means derivative. And in this class, right now, we're just going to be looking at first order differential equations. In college, you can take a class called differential equations, and you look at second order, third order, all different kinds of differential equations that you might encounter. But let's talk about what a differential equation is, because I know that you hear about the kids who are in Ms. Thompson's class talking about differential equations and how hard it is. And what I want you to know is that it's not all that bad. Um, a differential equation is an equation that shows the relationship between an unknown function and its derivative. All right, so what I'd like to do is um, really just give you an opportunity to look at the big picture of differential equations. And then we're going to focus in on slope fields. So I have an equation here, x squared plus 2y equals 25. I would like for you to calculate the derivative. Okay? So go ahead and calculate the derivative. And with respect to x. Hmm? I would like for you to calculate the derivative with respect to x. And I have four answer choices up here. And I would like you to click in after you've found the derivative what you think the answer is. All right, so we have an A. Lots of Bs, C and D. So let's talk about the correct answer. The correct answer is B. So very good for those of you that got that correct answer. Um, for people that selected C and D, what mistake did they make when finding their derivative? Madison? Um, for, you have to take the derivative of 25. What is the derivative of 25, Nick? It's 0. How about the person in, in answer choice D? What did they think? was happening here. Evan? Yeah, that's probably a common mistake. Um, how about answer choice A? What was the error that happened in answer choice A? Stacy? Um, I did that and I forgot to subtract. I just kind of put it on the other side. OK, so we have to be careful with our algebra. Very good. Can I take yours? Oh, yeah. I just estimated. No, it, well, once you kind of know everything, you can just estimate, right? This will be faster than going, ooh, going up one by one. Are you ready to see Jessica's work? This is a, the completed slope field. Okay. So what do you notice? Can somebody raise your hand and tell me what you notice? Stacy? It makes circles. It makes, it makes concentric circles. Does anybody know maybe where that comes from or you know, why? Why does it make circles? Because what? We took the derivative of the equation of a circle, didn't we? x squared plus y squared equals 25. Isn't that the equation of a circle? Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? That this slope field, while all the slopes are on here, it represents what? OK, and let's be a little bit more broad, because down here it says, what does the slope field represent? So it's not, just, it's not always going to be the equation of a circle. The equation that I take the derivative of? The what? The unknown function. Very good. So this slope field shows me pictures of what the unknown function could be. Oh, at negative one, yeah. So that'd be Why do you think that's helpful? Um, so you can, like, see the pattern. Maybe a pattern, but I think it's the 
it's helpful for me to like actually substitute you to actually do that. The Russian will just be the same thing. One up for not. Yeah. Um, I don't actually like up and down, they both use all the same as these. All we're doing is, you could, you could separate, integrate, not forget the C. Oh, oh. Yeah. You could do that? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. saying, like, yeah. What you do is make a whole bunch of little slips for this diagram. That looks good. So these are easy. Uh -huh. Why are these easy again? This one and this one. Because they're all, like, the same. I don't know. Like, you, when you get one point, you can do the rest of them. Yeah. Okay, so in this one, you were looking at an X value. And if that x value is the same, so you didn't have to incorporate the y value. Yep. So which other ones on here are going to be easy? This one. This one. Okay. And we already did one very similar to this, didn't we? Yep. Okay. What's different about it? Uh, the x and the y are flipped. Okay. So what do you think that's going to make your it look like instead of a like, like going outward? You know what I'm saying? Like a, like a circle inward. Sketch it on here. Like what do you think it's going to look like? Like it like looked like. This. Uh huh. Before. Right, it's gonna look like. Uh, like this. That'll be interesting to see if your conjecture is correct. Indeed. I can't wait. I love ones where, um, like on this one. Can I ask you guys what your strategy is to do this? Well, for the first couple, we already knew because we've done them before. Okay, which ones? Uh, like these two. Okay. And this one, we could just match what we already knew. Okay. This one was just pretty straightforward. Okay. All tell me. Yeah. Tell me why it was pretty straightforward. Because whatever the x was would be what the slope of that line would, so they would all be the same going down on the x's. Okay. So you, was that the only um, slope field that did that? like it. Okay. What would you do to verify that this was the slope field that went with that differential equation? Well, you could test points. Or, I mean, if you think about it, if you took thinking about the antiderivative, it would just be uh, it would be quadratic.